New at 11, some neighbors in Oswego County say they remain hopeful as they look towards the future after the devastating news the Fitzpatrick nuclear power plant will close, killing more than 600 jobs. Entergy, the company that owns the plant, says it will close by early 2017. This news led to a host of blistering statements from elected leaders who say they were caught off guard, possibly even lied to by Entergy. Representatives Richard Hanna and John Katko issued a joint statement on this, and they say they want more answers. They write, over the course of the past month, Entergy has been in talks with New York State about the future of Fitzpatrick. We hope the company will detail these conversations and inform the community as to what efforts were made to prevent the closure of the plant. You may recall it was early October, more than 1,000 people gathered here at the Oswego Highway Garage at a rally to try and save the jobs at Fitzpatrick. Union leaders, politicians, and local business owners gathered with current and former workers at the plant in a public plea to keep it open. Senator Chuck Schumer told CBS 5 today he'd been in touch with the company for several weeks, but this news blindsided him. This not only affects the immediate uh, community and even Oswego County, it affects all of central New York. And I am just furious at Entergy for doing this. It's callous, it's wrong, and hopefully they can be persuaded to reverse it, or we can stop them even if they're not persuaded. That's what I'm going to look at. From Albany tonight, Governor Cuomo tells CBS 5 the closing of the Fitzpatrick nuclear power plant will devastate the lives of the more than 600 employees and their families. Good corporate citizenship, he says, must appreciate that there are many factors that count as the bottom line. The state of New York will pursue every legal, and regulatory avenue in an attempt to stop Entergy's actions and its callous disregard for their skilled and loyal workforce. CBS 5 Samantha German is with the live eye in Oswego tonight. Michael, we spoke with one man who worked at Fitzpatrick for a little over 10 years, and he says this decision could hurt a lot of families depending on those good paychecks that the plant provides. And he says even though with all this bad news, he still remains hopeful. It's been a terrible Monday across Oswego County. You can't find anyone who isn't deeply troubled by the news from the Fitzpatrick nuclear plant. I really have confidence that they will, you know, try to keep it open, and I hope the governor can do something about it. Chuck Dumas has a unique perspective on the power plant. He's lived in Oswego for more than 50 years, and he says he was devastated when he heard the news. He worked at Fitzpatrick from 1979 to 1990. I used to go in the reactor and, you know, clean it up, paint the walls. Closing the power plant impacts more than 600 current employees. And if there's any hope of retaining the jobs, it now lies with the elected officials who all day have promised they'll work to save the plant. I just hope, you know, there's a reverse because it's it'd be devastating on the family that really count on that for a living. Now, whether the people of Oswego have confidence in the politicians' ability to reverse this decision, it's too early to tell. But a lot of the people that we spoke with all over the county say they're preparing for the worst. For now, reporting live in Oswego, I'm Samantha German.